in this class we are going to learn how to name our case remember I have uploaded the first two videos the foundation on how to name our case so if you did not watch the foundation part of this you go back to the previous videos you will see the title how to name our case part one after watching part one you come to part two now today we are looking at the part three and we are using a skeletal structure a skeletal structure is the structure where we choose only lines only bonds we don't show the carbons and hydrogens now in a skeletal structure every junction represents a carbon atom here we have a carbon here we have a carbon we have a carbon here we have a carbon all the junctions each of them represent the position of a carbon atom now we are asked to name this our K remember the four rules I gave earlier on how to name our case uh, rule number one says identify the longest continuous carbon to carbon chain so let's identify the longest chain here the longest chain simply means the longest uninterrupted line I can look I can check here this is a chain this is another chain there are different directions is another direction this is also a direction and this is also a direction we also can move this way as you can see the line did not cut it is still this way we can also check it this way as long as there is no breaking of line it is allowed now if we check all the different directions you will notice that the longest direction you have here is from here Okay, we have it like this. Our longest direction from in this compound is from here to this place. Watch, if I count from here to here, I will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I count from here to this end, I will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me check if I have any other direction that is longer than ten. For now, my maximum is ten. So let me check. If I move from here to here, I will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I move from here to here, I will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have seen something greater than 10 and that is this direction from here you move this way the line is still continuous it did not break still moving this is my longest chain 11 there is no other direction you get here that will be greater than 11 so our longest chain is from here now to here and that is what no, rule number one says identify the longest continuous carbon to carbon chain and I have done that and I discovered that the longest chain is 11 and the 11th hydrocarbon or the 11th alkane is called on the K. The 11th alkane is called on the K. That is the alkane with 11 carbon atoms. So I have identified my longest chain which is on the K, 11. Now, the next thing, the rule number two says identify the substituents or attachments present attachments are those carbon branches which are not part of your longest chain remember our longest chain is from here to this place this is our longest chain this direction this direction this is our longest chain this is our longest chain so this is not part of the longest chain this is not part of the longest chain and this is not part of the longest chain now how many carbon branches do we have which are not part of the chain there are three of them there are three carbon branches here which are called attachments attachments are those carbon branches which are not part of the longest chain i have them here one two three Every other carbon here is part of my longest chain because this is my longest chain. 
Now, inside this attachment, I have only one carbon, which is methyl. Inside this attachment, I have only one carbon also, which is methyl. But inside this attachment, I have two carbons, which is ethyl. Now, I'm going to bring out the names. The next thing to do, which is rule number three, after locating your attachments, rule number three says, number the carbon atoms in the longest chain, starting from the side that will give the attachments a lower number. So I'm going to assign numbers on the carbon atoms in my longest chain. If I number from this place, if I number, remember the longest chain has two ends, this place and this place. So it is either a number from here to here, or a number from here to here. Let's check. If I number from here, I will have one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If I number the longest chain from this end, my attachments will be at position four, that is from this direction, I have the attachments at position. The first one is at position four. The second one at position eight. The last one at position nine, which is four eight nine, four hundred and eighty nine. Now, what if I number the attachments from this direction, from left to right? Let's see, because the rule says number from the side that will give the attachments a lower number. Now, if I start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Remember, do not number the carbon atoms in the attachment. Number only the carbon atoms in the longest chain. So if I number from this direction, I will have my attachments at positions three, four, and eight. Three, this one is at position three, this one is at position four, and this one is at position eight, which is 348. So you can see 348 is lower than 489. The rule says number from the side that will give them a lower number. If I number from this side, it will be 489. From this side, 348. So I'm follow my left side where they will have a lower number. Now, the next rule is rule number four, which says, when writing the name of the compound, write the positions and names of attachments first, followed by the name of longest chain. Let's see. This is my longest chain. Now, the attachments I have, I have ethyl at position eight, which is eight ethyl. I also have methyl group. I have methyl group two places. One is at position three, the other is at position four. So I will say three, four. Because there are two of them, I will say dimethyl. Dimethyl. Methyl groups are positions three and four. Now I'm going to compile these three names the name of the longest chain, the name of this attachment, and these attachments. When writing the names, start with alphabetical order. The names of the attachments will be written first, while the name of the longest chain will be written last. Now, the attachments are ethyl and methyl. So E comes before M. The name becomes X ethyl. We write E before M. Then I have three, four, dimethyl. I have written the attachments. Then the next thing to write is the longest chain, which is on the K. So the name of the compound is Eight ethyl, three four dimethyl on the K, and that is the answer. Let's quickly look at another example. After one more example, I will give you one to try. After watching, you try the one. I will give you to try. We we'll have something like this. Let's name this compound on the board. Rule number one says identify the longest continuous carbon chain. Our longest chain, if I take this direction, I will have one, two, three, four, five. If I take this direction, I will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
If I take this direction, I will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If I take the horizontal direction, I will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So my longest chain is the horizontal line, which is 10. And number 10 is called decay. So my longest chain is decay. So no matter what the name of this structure will be, it must end with decay. That's the rule of naming. The name of an organic compound ends with the name of the longest chain. So since my longest chain is 10, the name of this compound must end with decay. Okay, the next step is to identify the attachments present. Here are my attachments. Those carbon branches which are not part of my longest chain are called attachments. I have another attachment here. This one is three carbons here. This one is two carbons. And here I have another attachment as well. And this is three carbons. So I have attachments at three positions. Step three says, number the carbon atoms in the longest chain, starting from the side that will give the attachments a lower number. Now, my longest chain starts here and ends here. So I have two options. It's either I number from here and end here, or I will number from here and end here. One is correct. How do I know the correct one? If I number from here, I will have them at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So numbering from left to right, my attachments will be at position three, five, and seven. Three fifty-seven. But if I number from right to left, let's see where the attachments will be. To be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I skipped something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if I number from right to left, my attachments will be at position four, six, and eight. Four, sixty-eight. And the rule says, follow the direction that will give the attachments a lower number. From this way, I have them at 357. Why from this other side, 468? So this way is lower. I'm going to number from left to the right because it will give us a lower number. So we we'll have it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, ten. Okay. Now let's identify the names of these attachments. The attachment at position three has two carbons, and that is ethyl. This is three ethyl. The one at position five has three carbons. One, two, three, which is propyl. The one at position seven also has three carbons. But I'm not going to call it propyl because I'm noticing something. Not this. I have two propyl attachments here. But look at the difference between the two. This is propyl. This is propyl. If I number this propyl, one, two, three. This one, one, two, three. Look at the difference now. This one is connected to the big compound. This propyl is linked to the big compound from the first carbon. This one is connected. This is the longest chain. It is connected to the longest chain from the first carbon. As you can see, this first, second, third. First, second, third. So this is connected to the compound from the first carbon. In that case, we'll call it propyl. But here, it is connected to the compound from the second carbon, like this, from the second one. So whenever it is connected from the second carbon, we call it iso. Iso shows it is connected from the second. Then how many carbons are there? One, two, three. 
propyl isopropyl assuming it is like this assuming you have it like this if you have it like this where you have one two three four carbons and it is connected from the second you call it iso then how many carbons one two three four butyl iso iso means it is connected from the second but when it is connected from the first we don't put iso just say butyl all right so this one is connected from the second carbon therefore the name is iso propyl now i have three methyl i have five propyl i have seven isopropyl and my longest chain is the k how do i compile these names you write the positions and names of these attachments first when you are done writing the names and positions of the attachments you now write the name of the longest chain now follow the attachments in the alphabetical order the first is e e comes first after e you have i after i you have p then the last is the k so this is 3 ethyl 7 isopropyl 5 propyl decay 3 ethyl 7 isopropyl 7 isopropyl 5 propyl then the longest chain is decay and this is the name of the structure given all right i'm going to give you one question to try by yourself let me see what you can do here now do this as an assignment get me the name of the structure i'm going to draw on the board when you discover the name go to the comment box type the name you got and i will mark your answer now we have a structure like this we have this Uh, a little more spicy let's make it a little more spicy this is the assignment this is the assignment I have for you for today on this section of the class give me the name of this structure Write your answer in the comment section and I will mark and get back to you. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to like this video. Drop a comment for us to encourage us. And please share this video with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.